Boo! No. This is turnover version three. Number three. Not version three. Num number version one. Number three. So um, here we are looking at form. So what we've done so far is we've created a task in turnover, which we've done our work with. We've checked out some source code from the UAT layer to our development layer. We've done some stuff in there and compiled it into our library and tested it and decided it's all great. And now we want to push those source code changes and the object, the program change, into the UAT environment. In the example we're doing right here, that's the AHP mods library. As the day's gone on, my hair has got progressively bigger and madder. I look, I look like a kind of a, a Wurzel gummage of RPG programming, but uh, ignore that. It's late in the day and I'm ready to stop doing this and go and do something more interesting instead. So you can see that I've uh, used option 46 to create the form. It tells me there's a form number, 11145. I could go back to the turnover main menu and take the menu option, work with forms, and view the form that way. I could do all of these options that are listed on the programmer work list from the forms menu. Um, but I'm going to do it all in here in the, in the work list because if you're using this for the first time, it's an easy way just to see everything from the same screen without getting too confused. So um, I've created a form. Let's do a 45 to have a look at the form and see what's going on with it. Okay, here's the form. So what it tells me is a few things that are kind of important. Um, it tells me the application that we're promoting to. That controls where the library is that I'm targeting. Uh, it tells me the library list. This is what's used when compiling objects. Um, I'm not going to go into that in any detail. You'll figure that out. It's kind of a bit more advanced. Uh, reference objects that it's using. Um, it, really all we care about is the line in question. Let's have a look at the line. We've, only, we've added the one program to this line, so let's have a look at it. We'll do a five to display the line. This is where it tells us everything about this object that we're going to be promoting. It tells us the object name, web post put. It's an RPG LE program. We're going to be replacing whatever is in the destination, and here's the destination. So I'm moving from my work library, in Litton, up to the UAT library, AHP Mods. It's going to copy the source and compile the object. Then, of course, we have all of our information about where it's coming from, where the source is, where the object's going, blah, blah, blah. Then you have the create palms and authorities. This could be completely different on your machine. It tells you the, the parameters that are going to be created, whether it's going to use system defaults or individual defaults, and the authority settings. Um, obviously, it then says, once it's moved everything from AHP source, it's going to delete the object from my library and delete the source from my library. Because so we don't want to leave old copies lingering around. Personally, I don't like things lingering around because you have duplicate objects and it's easy to mess things up. So there's our form. It's dead simple. Um, we could have had multiple programs on here. We could have had loads and loads and loads of programs, multiple object types on here. But in this example, I'm just going to run it. Um, 46 creates the form and adds things to it. 47 runs the form. Uh, a useful one to do before you run anything is a 41. It does this at runtime anyway. It's uh, an error check on the form, but it's a nice way to familiarize yourself with forms if you're, if you're not really up to speed with them to start off with. So if you do a 41 next to your form and press enter, it comes up with a screen saying, what do you want to do? Do you want to error check it in batch or error check it interactively? Let's be naughty. Shh don't tell the system admin and we'll error check it interactively so if we just press enter it, there we go this is this, in fact this is a great example so here's the the error message that it's told us it's not a serious one it's a warning it's saying warning web post put in library HP mods has been changed outside of turnover and we know this program has been changed outside of turnover because that's the reason that the whole reason for me starting doing these instructions on using turnover was things have been compiled directly into that library outside of the change management tool and that's a big naughty so using a turnover going forward this problem will go away I know that when I run the form that warning will arrive on the screen it will appear on the screen again but it lets me override it ignore it and continue so let's run the form and see what happens if I start off with saying Let's see where this uh, program exists. I'll look in all user libraries and I'm going to look for web post put. It tells me, hey, there's the old version. You can see from the description just over here, this is the July version that's living in uh, AHP mods. Here's the new one that I just compiled into my library, which I put some text on there saying it was August. So obviously what I'm going to expect to see 
is this is going to go up to the HP mods library turnover very nicely will archive the uh, existing version for us rename it and archive it so we can back the form out if we want to um, and it should delete the program from my library because it's moved it up so let's run the form we just put 47 against the line with the form on it 47 on the text at the top so is run form we press enter it gives us all this gump saying right are you sure you want to do this it's going to error check it again that's fine I don't mind doing any of that stuff you can schedule the form to run at a certain date and time and hold it if you like but I'm just going to run this right now it says okay when I run it do you want me to distribute it to another one of the machines I don't want to send it to AHP 400 that's our production box so I just did a 4 to remove it and pressed enter to go on to the next stage here it is validating the form again giving me the exact same error message saying warning web post put in library HP mods change outside of turnover notice that it says F6 run with warnings um, sometimes it's more serious it might say there's a level check or you know it's an absolute hard stop in which case you cannot do anything apart from cancel the form submit fix those errors and try again but in this case it's saying yep something's changed outside turnover press F6 to run it so I'm going to here comes F6 oops honestly here comes F6 so it's running if I press F5 a few times which is what I'm doing there you'll see the colors changed the development level has gone to black meaning there's no object there's no source and it's not checked out and that's because it's been successfully promoted up to AHP mods where the object exists the source exists and it's no longer checked out it's now freed up for other developers to work with because my program has gone all the way up there I was recording that video and then just then because I was pressing F9 F10 I didn't realize that Camtasia uses those keys to stop recording so you have to just imagine that what I said after that promotion was happened was um, yes uh, I went in turnover and then I went down to my pregnant work list and I was sitting in I wasn't in that one I was in uh, number four wasn't I web post put so what I do to make sure that everything is up at that level is do a quick 35 to look at the source code um, and what I'm looking at is the source code at the promoted level now and I just go in to make sure that my header comments are there in the code and there they are so I know that the promotion has worked that my version of the source code has gone up um, if I press F12 I'm going to be really careful with my function keys now because I know that Camtasia running on my other screen there sometimes screws it up um, yeah I can look at all kinds of things about the form and tell me other stuff that's going on look at object histories and all that but hey I'll leave you guys to um, go in and play with turnover if you've got any specific questions please feel free to uh, leave a comment um, you're probably better off commenting on my website at nicklitton.com because the discuss comments at the bottom I always reply to whereas um, here on YouTube sometimes <laughs> dicks say things so I don't bother replying um, but yeah I hope that helps somebody out there and uh, yeah turnover is pretty cool uh, it's pretty straightforward and I uh, hope it worked for you ciao